Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. As the first week there's still a lot of information being passed around, a lot of things that are being figured out, and a couple of things that I'm going to show you guys is going to be this tutorial and another one right after it. Um, now the first one is going to be um, sort of clearing up what I've seen on a couple of different videos honestly um, from uh, some very high-end users. Um, and this is no discredit to them. It was sort of buried and took me a second to figure it out and really awkward And that is how to properly set up your waypoints and, and airways in the um, And for my particular case the a320 uh, I decided I want to learn how to fly it and you know what a better opportunity than now um, so and the second video we're going to do is um, how to add liveries to your different aircraft in um, MSF 2020 as they start coming up um, now there's a couple of these videos already out and there's one on the website that you can currently get some liveries from I just figured the faster we get the information across the more content we're gonna see the more third-party developers are gonna get involved I mean just you know it, it's a chain right so let's start out with first how do we enter our flight plan correctly um, in the uh, a3120 for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 all right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to sim brief, okay? Here's our sim brief, here's our flight plan that I've already created for us. Okay, this is a quick jump from Phoenix to Las Vegas, viva Las Vegas. Anyway, um, and uh, you know, I don't have the times correct and things like that, but there's a couple things like this 30,000 feet. One of the things that I saw someone else struggling with was that their FMC when they got into the, um, I know it's not called an, uh, what is it called, McDo, something like that, anyway. I call it the FMC, Flight Management Computer. I know that's not correct for the A320, but you guys get what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, he couldn't set the altitude correctly and have ATC operate the same way. So I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, alleviate some of this. So um, I'm gonna be back and forth on these two pages, so bear with me. So let's go ahead and get back into the sim. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and we're gonna go to our aircraft selection and we've selected the A320. We can go to liveries, and I'm gonna show you guys how to install all these later, but I've selected American Airlines, okay? And next thing we need to do is find our departure airport. So we're gonna go to KPH2X, or 26, excuse me, KPHX. Um, and let's go ahead and just pick a gate. Actually, let's scroll down. Let's find a gate near runway 26, make our lives easy. So we're gonna do a parking here. I'm not sure where American is at Phoenix. I, Honestly, I haven't looked it up yet, so. All right, I know Southwest is down here. But uh, anyway, so there we go. We come off of gate 67 there, all right? So we're gonna click that there. And then we're gonna select our arrival airport and we're gonna find Sin City. Uh, there's Las Vegas. All right, and we will be coming in. And this way we're gonna come into our flight plan real quick to make sure we get this information correct. So let me find it again. So here's what we're doing here. Uh, 30,000 feet, KLS 0225, r Let me find our runway. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, we're gonna be coming in on 26 right is what our flight plan has for us. Forgive me guys, I have the freaking hiccups. So the first thing you actually wanna do by default this is what it looks like. Okay, what we want to do is come down here and we have low altitude airways and high altitude airways. We want a high altitude airway. Okay, we want to go in the upper regions of the, um, what should I call it? The airways, the air traffic. Then you need to come here to departure. So first thing you're gonna do is select your gate. Then you're gonna come here and you're gonna find your departure. And so what we're looking for, and this is sim brief, by the way, and in the next one, I'll show you guys real quick how to set up a sim brief, so bear with me. Um, it's pretty black and white, but you know, for those who may uh, not be on point with it. So what we're looking for here is this is Phoenix 2-6, that's the runway we're taken off of, and this is the SID, Standard Instrument Departure is what that stands for. Okay, so we're looking for the 2-6 Zephyr 2. Okay, so we're gonna come up here and we're gonna find departures. I'm just go all the way down to Zephyr. And there it is, Zephyr 226. So this is the SID, this is the runway. Okay, so boom, we're gonna click that. And then what you're following here, these are all the waypoints that are attached to that particular um, airway. 
And if we come down back to our flight plan, okay, we're scrolling down a little bit. And you're going to find all these same. So this, I want you guys to think of the top name here. This is the airway. And these are waypoints that exist on the airway. If you want to put it into sort of layman's terms, um, think of Zephyr, the top line, as the highway or freeway, you know, in your in your hometown. And these are the exits that you can take to the different streets. Okay. And so we're going to be passing all of these. Okay. And again, that that's not quite right. Okay, I already know that, so please don't start bombing me with corrections, but I'm just trying to get people, give you some sort of way to visualize what these are, okay, if you're not familiar with it. Okay, they're points on a airway, okay? So, we can start following these along, okay? And so I'm going to pull this off screen for a second. Or maybe I can do this. There we go. So you can see there's Wilva, Hervu, Z-Dog, Fannin. Okay, you can see how it's coming across right and so all we're going to do is move this off for a second now we're going to come back to our approach now if we come back to our route up at the top you can see we're coming in on the uh, Tyson 5 for 26 right all right so we're going to come here to the approach it says automatic we don't want automatic we want to follow our flight plan so we're going to come all the way down QRS TUV, so we're actually going to be looking for 26. Uh, I should have an ILS 26 right. There we go. ILS 26 right. And now, what we're going to do is keep going here and see if we come in on the Tyson. Uh, okay, so now we have to come to the arrivals. Okay, we're set to a direct arrival. We don't want a direct arrival. So here's where we find our Tyson. Oh, there it was. Tyson 5 all. Okay, so we're going to click on that. And now, once again, let's see if we match up. So I'm going to scroll this down for a second. Um, the last one that we saw there was Arsta. Okay, so this is the end of the Zephyr 2 airway. Then we're going to come direct to the next waypoint. And this is TOC, stands for Top of Climb. So this is when we reach our maximum altitude. So I think for us it's 30,000 feet, I believe, on this one. Then from there, we're going to go direct to Kingman via the IGM. So let's see here what we got here. Um, so this isn't quite right. Uh, Chili Dark Zeeds. Oh, wait, IGM. There it was. Hold on. There it is. Okay, so it's right. So let me scroll up a bit. Maybe I missed that. Arsta. So these are probably how we're getting direct. Okay, so I wonder... So IGM, it has us going from Arsta. I wonder if we can move this. Oh, hey, we can remove it. There we go. So let's remove this. And we're going to right click. Let me find it. Which one are we actually coming up on? Oh, there we go. So we don't want M mute, right? Let me go back to our flight plan again. So we're going Arsta and then direct. We're going to be going to IGM. So anything after Arsta right here. So we're going to... There we go. Oh, sorry. I wasn't left clicking on it. That was my fault. And we're going to come here and remove. Chili. Okay. Boom. And now we are direct from Arsta to IGM. Okay, you guys see that? So now we're following our flight plan as we have written here. So now from IGM, if we come up here, we should see Arsta. Then that symbol indicates IGM is also an airfield. Okay. So, oh, did I go too far? So we go to IGM. Then we're going to go to the Tyson 5, top of descent. We're on that airway. And so the next one down should be Zaitz. And it is. Zaitz. Caddy, Tyson, Susie, Prino, and it looks like we should be going from Prino straight to McCarran. All right, so, and that's actually still possible. That's on it. Let's look down at this. So what we're going to do is we're going to see this could be part of the arrival. The from flies, these guys here. These may be part of the approach. So let's come down here, how we're going to find that out. 
we're gonna see who these guys are. So these are Prino. And then, yeah. So these are all gonna be part of the approach into the runway. So they're not showing them, but these are all part of the STAR is what it's called. Standard, um, what is it? Standard approach? What? Standard approach, is that all it is? Anyway, standard arrivals or something like that. I can't remember, damn it, now what the STAR stands for. Um, I'm sure somebody will put it in the comments after I just said that because I sounded like an idiot. Okay, but, so, Prino is going to be here, and then, like, you're going to have, you know, Flickr, Hako, Condi, and then KLAS, or probably this one right here will be Condi, and then into the runway. Okay, so that is the proper way to set up the um, aircraft for your airways. Okay, now, it still doesn't set the altitude, but we'll see what it sets when we actually get in the aircraft. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come back to our aircraft, and this is also where you want to set your weights and balances. So if we come back to our flight plan the way we have it planned here, we're going to come up here and we're going to find our fuel. And the fuel page is going to be right here, okay? So this is going to be fuel, and this is fuel in gallons. So we're looking for block fuel of 14.589. Block fuel is total fuel on board. Okay, so we come here, and we're looking at... Total fuel, 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 fuel. Oh, and total fuel. Why aren't you giving me total? Am I missing that? Should be right in front of my face, right? So left inner is 10,384 pounds. I don't want pounds, I want gallons. Uh, do we want gallons? No, we want pounds, right? Uh oh, now I'm confusing myself. Anyway, um, and we want a total of. 14589, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hope this is pounds, because now I'm totally confusing myself. Um, it's getting late, forgive me. So we're going to look for what our total is, 14589, and we're going to do it divided by 2, enter, and sort of, alright, so we got 7294.5 in each side, so that's what we want. 7, let's see if I can, can we type in here? We can. We delete that, and so we want 7294. I don't know why I did that. 7294.5. I don't know why we're getting the 49, but anyway. So let's come down here and we're going to do the same thing. So we're looking for 72. Am I hitting one? Seven two nine four point four nine. Whatever. That for fine. That works. Okay. And then the left outer. Actually, we want to split that up. I guess a little bit. That's true. Um. Actually, we could use that for. I'm gonna pull that down to zero because we don't need it. So it should be a pretty light takeoff. And I may not be 100% right on all this. Oh, there's my fuel right there. 14589. So that's good. Um, that's where it needs to be. Okay, payload total. Um, now, payload. What we can do is when we come back over here. Is we're going to find... Do, 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 do. Trip. This is all fuel. It should also be a payload line. Give me a second. Ah, uh, here we go. So... Zero fuel weight. Payload, 36.2. That should be 36.2 thousand pounds, if I remember correctly. So, payload... Uh, let's come up here. And you guys can have this however you want. So, let's see what we need. We need to put on... We need to put on about 12,000 pounds here. Um, so let's do... Let's make this 9,000. Let's make this 14,000. Nope. There we go. Oh, it doesn't like that. Center of gravity. Alright, give me a second. Forward baggage. Oh, we're at 34,000 pounds, so that was too much. Let's go 7,000. And we're at payload. So let's make this 10,000. We're at 30,000. 
And let's just put this up to 6,000. So there, 32,000 pounds, essentially. And actually what we can do is, let's make this 9,000. Because this is a little high, so we could even do, let's do this, let's do 6,300. There, perfect. All right, center of gravity still looks good. We've set our payload. Okay, so all I was trying to do was match that number on our flight plan here, the 32.2, uh, where did it go? Oh, it's 36.2, whoops. All right, so 36.2, in that case, let's do this. We'll add another 3,000 pounds here, and let's add another 3,000 pounds here. Did I miss something? Why didn't that work? Oh, because I'm retarded, that's why. 10,000. And now we're still, gosh. We're gonna take that down to 9,000. We're gonna take that down to 11,000. There, okay, I'm, I promise I'm done this time. All right, so now let's go ahead. We've got our aircraft set up. We have our, we can come here to the ATC options and we can give us a tail number if we want. Um, yeah, I don't really care what the tail number is, but let's do um, American Airlines 3248. I don't know what the heck the flight number is. Oh, well, we'll make the flight number 3248. Um, we don't want to append heavy. Um, that's for your 747s, etc. Actually, 747 might be a super. Is it a super? No, I think the only super is the 380, right? Anyway, <clears throat> so we are all set here. So now we're going to come back and we're going to go for flying. All right, you guys. So here we are back in the simulator. Let's go ahead and jump to the cockpit. And normally we'd go through the startup, but I just want to show you guys this real quick. So let's go ahead and knock out the checklist. I'm just going to pull up the checklist. I already got it up over here on my screen. And I'm going to have our co-pilot knock it out real quick. I mean, it doesn't get much faster than that. <laughs> just waiting on the APU, so it'll be just a few seconds here. Sorry, playing with the views while we're waiting. <laughs> All right, so now let's go ahead and come down over here. Well, they've got all that going on. And we'll go to our initialization page. Uh, cost index, we're going to get that from our flight plan. I'll show you guys that in the next one. We go through a full tutorial on how to get this thing started. All right, and we're going to go over to flight plan. And you can see all of our flight plans are already pre-entered. We can scroll down, scroll up, okay? And we're just looking for any route discontinuities, and there isn't, okay? So here's us coming down into Vegas and runway 26. So I just wanted you guys to see real quick, because I was seeing some confu um, some confused even from the pros. I'm, I'm certainly not a pro with the airliners, not by any freaking means, um, especially with the A320, as I told you guys in a couple different uh, videos and earlier that... Uh, I'm just now learning the thing, so um, this is just one of those things I picked up as I was rolling around. Um, but if we go back to our initialization page, you can see our flight level still isn't quite right. Um, it's set to 38,000 feet, so that's a little low, uh, or a little high, excuse me. Now, um, I did want to show you guys that you still have to go through everything else. Your performance pages are already set, um, but you still need to set your takeoff flaps, so like we could do takeoff flaps one um, the flex to temp I actually need to figure out what that is I haven't learned that one yet so if you guys know that um, please by all means throw it in the comments below because I don't know what that one is um, or if you guys know a great tutorial for learning the A320 by the way give me a link to that as well I will totally take that um, but anyway um, and then obviously you still need to set your Q&A to the temperature I don't think you can just click on them nope um, we'll have to enter in the winds and things like that so there's still plenty to do um, you just don't have to enter in the waypoint anymore. Now, I do want to check one more thing before we get into this. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to come back. I mean, essentially what you could do, just real quick, is you could just simply do this. So if we come back to our flight plan and see what we had set. Bring that back over here. I think our cruise altitude was 30,000 feet. Uh, so yeah, it'd be flight level 300. 
um, which may not even be correct. Let me double check that. We can go here and check the top of climb. So find our TOC. And yep, flight level. So if you look up here where I got that is, here's the order in which you're reading things. What we're interested in is right here, flight level. And we're going to find our top of climb right there, TOC's top of climb, flight level 300. So we could literally just come here and type 300 and it will change that. I just don't know, it would change what the aircraft does, but the idea behind it is to make sure that the in-game ATC knows what you're doing as well. So that's how you could do it manually and force your altitude, but everything else is already set for you. Your waypoints are set, you don't have to worry about doing that, which in my opinion takes kind of, honestly, a lot of the fun out of it. One of my favorite things to do in the Zebo was entering in, you know, all the, all the flight information, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and check one more thing and make sure we didn't miss a way to set our top of climb. By the way, standard terminal arrival is what STAR stands for. Um, and let's see here. So we wanted to check our top of climb. Let me check our waypoint real quick. I think top of climb was just after our step. Yeah, okay. So let's come down here. It's going to be these guys here. So we're going to get rid of this guy. We're going to get rid of this guy. We're going to get rid of this guy. Oh, yeah, that would have been dumb. Look at that. So we would have literally came around, turned around, and then gone just a goofy, goofy road. All right, so at the Tyson, type fix, da, 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 I don't know. So it doesn't look like we can set our altimeter. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me double check one more thing. No, it's not going to be in there. Let's go back and let's check low altitude airways and see what we get. All right, so let's get back in the seat. And let's see what it gives us this time. Oh yeah, 14,000. So now, so you could change it manually, but as far as I can tell, there's no way to tell ATC that you want to be at a different altitude than what they assign. So, I mean, you know, enter it manually, you know, let it set your top of climb for you and let the aircraft go and just see what ATC does is well, I would say it from here, but we'll see what happens when I do the next tutorial where we do a full um, flight from, we'll go from Phoenix all the way over to um, either Las Vegas or Los Angeles, we'll see what happens. Alright guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this one, um, this is uh, just one of many new features to come, so uh, I hope you guys stay tuned and are learning a lot, alright? Talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.